Here is a rather uncommon fian. It's a common form factor, but a very uncommon brand. I had this whole thing worked up in my mind about how I would do the suspenseful introduction of this V and open the box and all this stuff and then I realized that there's no point because the title that nobody reads, the description that nobody reads, and for all I know the thumbnail that nobody looks at all tells what it is so there's no like there's no secret so I'll just take it out of the box. Unless, of course, this is not what I'm thinking of. Well, that's odd. No, I think it is what I'm thinking of. Yep, it is this. This is, as you already know, the Elg Box Fian. And a uh, 36 by 6 by 6 empty box. Maybe you can use that for something. This is packed pretty nicely. Mostly uh, everything that can go on a blue bin. And then just some bubble wrap. Hopefully with not too much tape on it. And there's some tape but it's not crazy. as far as the tape is concerned. guard is falling off. Yes it is. For some odd, odd weird reason, the badge is within the guard. So this is the Ilg Window Ear Ilg Fian. And this appeared of all places on the Digitan Goodwill. I'll tell you, every now and again something just shows up on there that is absolutely incredible. Uh, the bin on this went fairly high, definitely higher than I would normally pay for something that I don't need. But I think even this only ended up around $60 and the shipping is reasonable on that site so I figured for $60 this is cheaper than uh, much cheaper than I would get it for anywhere else. So I'm not sure which side this is supposed to go on uh, but at least it's still here. Um, this is a really cool fan. This is the first Ilg fan I've ever had. Uh, looks like a three-speed model. These have a reputation for being very quiet. And I like quiet fans, so this will be a good fan for me. Here's the informations. 
It's 115 rating, so it's definitely older. I would say this probably dates back to the 50s or the 60s. This has definitely got some age to it. 2 point something amp, so it's probably a shaded pole motor. Now the wiring on this thing has definitely uh, seen better days. It's got some cracking all uh, on the inside here. And uh, my main concern would be a short here in the area where it goes into the housing. Although it looks okay. It's definitely got some cracking, but uh, it's not bad enough that I won't plug it in. bad enough that I'll replace it though for sure um, you know wrapping this twice would have been sufficient what the heck alright so we have uh, oiling instructions lubricate motors motor line holes in fan wheel every six months with several drops of SAE 20 I don't know what kind of motor this has it kind of looks like a typical motor it's like a typical box via motor I don't know how the heck it cools itself because there's no way any air is getting to that motor because the back is solid Not sure how you oil it either. All right, it is set to off. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see what happens. Hopefully, there's no shorts anywhere. The plug is really cool. I think that I'm going to have to somehow mend the wire and keep the plug. You know, maybe just cut it at the end and put a new cord on there. Because that's a really cool plug. It's an old molded plug. And it's still fine. It's in good shape still. There's no uh, decay or some corrosion on there. We can just sand that off. The plug itself is fine, so kind of inclined to keep the plug. Right, get the kilowatt meter going here. Alright, it's live. No explosion so far, which is good. Look at 119.6 the volts. Let's go over to amps. And uh, let's power this on. We'll start up on low. It's too bad the motor is loud, the blade is silent. It almost sounds like something is loose, but I can't, I can't imagine what it would be. Hmm. Alright, so that's the low, which is noisy. 2.29 amps, 110 the watts with a power factor of 24. So it's a horrifically inefficient shaded pull motor. It's moving a nice amount of air. It's a very gentle breeze. 
but it's pushing all the way across the room quite nicely. It's a daggone shame that that motor is so loud. There's got to be something wrong with it. This would be nearly silent if it wasn't for that stinking motor hum. Kind of sounds like it's getting quieter. Hmm. All right, let's go to the medium. Huh, that's going to really move some air. Make sure it's not going to tip over these tables. That's moving some serious air already. Wow. Very high volume. And it's still very quiet, again, other than that stupid hum. If I can't get that hum to go away, I'd almost be inclined to replace the motor. Because I can't use it like that. That's awful. That is 2.43 amps, so it's already is it over what it said it was. It said uh, 2.5, so it's it's not over, but it's close. Uh, watts 139 and a power factor of 0.48. We do have to keep in mind that because we're at 100, well now we're at 118 volts. Because of the higher voltage than what it's rated for, it's also going to draw more power. And that's not indicating that there's a problem, that's perfectly normal to be expected. I don't know if this is in the wind stream, I can't tell. Alright, let's go for high. Not much difference there between the, the medium and high. moving a lot of air. It's very powerful. And the blade is very quiet. It's a very pleasant, low sound that the blade makes. Power draw is 2.74 amps. 162 of the watts with a power factor of 0.5. The 2.74 at 119 with a rating of 2.5 at 115 is pretty much right on where it should be. The motor is fine in that regard. This is really moving a very high volume of air. I can feel the air circulating all over the room. Even though it's not high, like a high velocity, it's a very high volume. That's definitely getting quieter as it warms up. Wonder if that motor is, is uh, on its way out. It pro I would imagine it runs very hot. It can't be getting much airflow through there. It's still pretty noisy, but I think it's gotten a little bit quieter. That's a really cool fan. Alright, we'll shut it off. Yeah, I think it did get a little bit quieter as it warmed up. The bearings appear to be in really good condition.
Pretty sure the blade is only plastic too, so it's not going to be all that heavy. Eh, not bad. I'm sure, it's never been oiled or anything, so for that that many years, it still still spin pretty freely. Not bad at all. Maybe it's not any quieter. Oh. I'm not sure if that's like a. I mean, it could. A varnish could quiet it down a bit. It doesn't really sound like a loose winding to me, though. I suppose it could be. It's worth a shot. Balance is pretty good. It's slightly out of whack, but nothing crazy. All right, well that's going to be it for this one. Very neat fan. Um, definitely a cool find. Paid quite a bit for this thing, but I think it was worth it. I'm not sure I'd find one of these anywhere else for cheaper or at all. There can't be many of these left. There probably never were many of these to begin with. I suspect these were extremely expensive back in the day. Well, it works. It's all there. Uh, we got to put the the um, badge back on and clean up a bit, but it's not that dirty and it seems to run pretty well. So I'll have to see if we can get the motor to quiet down a bit. This will probably be one of the first couple of projects I do here in the new studio uh, once I get it finished and after I go to sleep.